what is up youtube it's your girl brandy boss here coming at you with another video with my january favorites for 2021 how is everybody doing i hope everybody is doing well i hope you all staying safe i hope you wearing your mask i hope you getting your vaccination shot so we can hurry up and get up out of this c19 situation but I am here to share with you what I like the most for January 2021. If you are interested in watching, please stay tuned. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow. I told y'all I'm trying to make my channel a little bit bigger this year, a little bit every year. Hey, do my thing. Also, click the notification bell so you can know when Brainy Boss uploading. So if you're interested in watching, please stay tuned. What is up, Boss Gang? Your girl is here ready to share with y'all what she was loving for January, January 2021 and what I was using my favorites. I Listen, I already told y'all I'm guilty of purchasing so much stuff. Sometimes I can't even keep up with it. When I think to try to put it down to share on a video, I get so busy and backed up. I have the stuff in my phone and stuff. I be putting it in my notes. And then I be there for God, and then I be there get busy, I be tired, I be trying to record y'all, I be trying to keep up with this stuff. But when you work full time and you got kids and stuff, life gets busy. You like, I don't do this full time as a job, I do, you know, other things in a professional setting. So it requires for me to be at my office a lot and stuff. So I'm not able to sit behind a camera all day long. I wish I could kudos to who can you know what i mean but i have a full-time job in business to run so i'm not able to sit behind the camera 24 7 but i'm here now i got some time to share my january favorites i do have some upcoming videos for february favorites in my recent purchases I, I'm going to be honest with you, I might try to record it back to back, but I can't be sure because then I have to edit it down and all that stuff and upload each video, but I'm going to do what I can today. So, I, like I told y'all, your girl be busy. She be purchasing stuff, but I do have some favorites to share, and I think people can use these on a day-to-day -day basis. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking at my phone. I do not, I don't know the price of these things, but I will try to link them down below in the description box to share with you guys. Again, I put everything in my notes, so I'm going to be looking down at the phone to share what it is that I'm sharing. And these are by not all means that are in no way, shape, or order for anything. They're just basically what I have. Um... So, my first item that I'm going to be sharing that I was loving for the month of uh, January was these Vita Fusion Apple Cider Vinegar Gummies. Now, everybody rants and rave about apple cider vinegar peels because we all know that this stuff helps suppress your appetite and it helps you lose weight. And I had another brand that I was using before, and I used that whole bottle, but I purchased this one. I mean, I'm about halfway down, as you can see. I take two a day each morning. Sometimes I might forget in the morning. I take them at nighttime, but I take two a day, and this helps suppress your appetite, which most of the time I'm fasting anyways during the daytime. And I probably might eat maybe once, twice if I'm lucky um and throughout the day and that's pretty much how my regimen goes and i drink my waters and stuff like that and i drink my teas and stuff detox teas and stuff but these are those i hope you try these out these are these are good to have i have been using them faithfully but um i am losing weight and and how i know honey when you can put on them pants and they can loosen up and you got room and you need a belt, that's how you know. But that's what I've been using. That's one of my items. My next item, and before I go on, this is reasonably priced. It's not no expensive situation. I want to say less than $15, but again, I'll try to link the link them down in the description. I did purchase these from Amazon. I am an Amazon junkie. So, if you're interested, make sure you try these out. My next order from 
what I got from Amazon when it came to my junior favorites was these. These are the Simbacus Elderberry Gummies. I take two of these each day as well, me and my husband both. As you can see, we are down to our last four, so I need to put an order on Amazon as soon as possible. But this helps with your immune support and stuff. And this has zinc in it, which they say it's really good for trying to fight COVID. If uh, you, know, you ever catch COVID or what have you, which we have not. Um, I go where I need to be and I take my butt home. That's what I do. But these are really good. The flavor is really good and stuff. And I can't complain, but it does support your immune system. So I highly recommend these. These ran about between $12 to $15, but you get quite a bit, about 60 gummies in it. So I say try them out. They taste really good and stuff. And it's easy because they're chewable gummies. So my next purchase and one of my January favorites was, let me show y'all, this big thing right here. Let me tell y'all about this. Okay. This is a Thermalux heating pad by Conair. Let me tell y'all something about this. See, now a man will look at this video and say, what she need with a heating pad? But y'all women, y'all know. Honey, when it's that time of the month and your stomach hurting and you cramping, guess what you gonna do? You gonna, you gonna take you some, might all some, and you gonna get this heating pad and you gonna put it on your stomach and your back because a lot of us go through back pain and go through cramping and stuff when it's time of that time of the month. I I am one of those people. I'm I'm a woman. I'm human, honey. And if I if this will help me, guess what? Then I'm gonna have it. This was very much inexpensive. Again, this was less than twenty bucks. Um, you can purchase this on Amazon, but I did purchase this at my local Dollar General. And listen, you plug it in, and and, and it's a washable pad that comes in it that you can use. I recommend getting you one. And especially when it's on one of those cold days and stuff where, you know, uh, with Florida, Florida don't stay cold very long, but I'm going to be honest with y'all, it can get cold sometimes. And even sometimes when I'm feeling like, you know, we have the air condition down real low and I'm feeling real cold, I might turn it on and put it underneath my back. But guess what? It helps. So go and get you one if you think it's gonna help you okay so my next purchase and favorite for the month of january was this right here so i told you guys in my uh last video that um uh, as one of my christmas gifts my husband had purchased me a iphone 12 um the new iphone 12 and stuff so what people know who got the new iPhone, they know that uh, Apple does not give you a charging block now in the new phones. So you have to get a uh, special, I think it's called a C wall charger base. Um, what I did, and at first I was like, man, because Apple, Apple charge out the yin gang. And I'm like, I really don't want to have to pay that much for a base because I always end up having to purchase a new one for any other phone that I've had and stuff. Because at some point, the Apple chargers, the actual cords, and also the base always stop working or something happens to it to where I need a new one. I end up buying something off brand anyways. So, I went to scrolling on Amazon, and guess what your girl found? She found a C, a C wall charger, a USB-C wall charger, 18 watts by a brand called Newt. And with this, this, it comes in that little box, and it looks like this. And guess what? It fits my iphone 12 charger so guess what i did i ordered a couple more and i ordered my husband some and i'm gonna be honest with y'all these charge really fast they charge faster than uh my old because i do have a iphone uh 8 plus uh which i actually have in my hand i have one of those as well 
one is a work phone and one is a personal phone but when i put them things even my ipad and stuff i put that on this charger right here and that thing being charged up in like five ten minutes like i can get some juice so if you're interested it was inexpensive it was probably like a couple bucks if you're interested in that make sure you check out newt that's the brand on amazon i believe it was like less than six dollars i'm sure they have different kinds but this one had great reviews so you want to check out the reviews when you're purchasing anything off of amazon because trust me honey it's like you can be buying a piece of crap you know what i'm saying so make sure you do that okay my next uh my next january favorites was just a second i purchased this brand called eternal sorry eternity no it's actually eternal you see how much i'm even paying attention eternal this is called the nude series eternity eternal <laughs> eternal eternal nail polish series so what that looks like is i'm a person that loves nude nails nude polish type situations i mean don't get me wrong i do wear different types of nails and stuff you know but this these nail polish is what i purchased for myself for my feet most of the time and they look like this they came like this and there actually is another one but those are the colors right there for those and then i have one more And this one is, I'll give you the names. This is Dolce de Leche. This one, this pretty color. I love it. And then this one is, um, it's called Evilana, uh, Evilana, Avila Lana. I don't know, but it's basically named after somebody, which is a pretty color. My next one is called Nude. And this is one that I have on my feet right now. Nude. And then my last one, which is one of my favorites, is right here. And this one is called Toffee Coffee. Now, nine times out of ten, I got Toffee Coffee on my feet. But right now, I have the Nude on because it goes well with my nails and stuff. That's what I have on there right now. Okay, that was inexpensive. If you are one of those people that likes uh, new type nail polishes and you want something that's like clean, classy looking, try them out. They have really great polishes. Um, I only purchase polishes when it comes to my feet because I don't want gel polish on my toes because let's be real, it's hard to get gel polish off and I'm not going to the nail salon right now because the COVID still in and I'm just trying to protect myself and make myself look good I do my own at home spas and pedicures and stuff to make sure I keep up with myself and like I told y'all in my goals video that's one thing I'm doing for myself is I'm doing those things twice a month to keep up with me and make myself feel good so all right on to the next um I did purchase an item it looks like this. I believe it's pronounced the house house laboratories. Okay, so I seen this a while ago and I ended up purchasing it, but I had just recently started using it. I used it once and it was the Lady Gaga um lip glosses and stuff. And I got it. This is the packaging. I got it in the color called it is Entrance. I'm going to show y'all what this look like. I really like the dome shape on this. And it looks like this. So, in trance, it's like this iridescent looking color. I'll put a little bit on. But, I don't know if you can see that. It's like this iridescent color. 
I did have a lippy on. But this is a cute color. Okay. Put a little bit more on. What do y'all think? It's cute. Um, the consistency of this is cute. Um, but I have other ones that are better. This ran about, I want to say this lippy was like 18 bucks, but I purchased it in this color because I feel like because it goes on clear, you can't go wrong. It just has this iridescent looking look to it, but it's cute. You know, it's not something that I would wear every day, but, um, I would put it over something that I already have on. Most of the time I use, um, what is it? The NY, the, the NYX, uh, lip glosses and lippies. And then I have another one. Uh, uh, it's like a liquid lipstick. Um, it's in like a mauve brown color that I do wear. And then I wear other clear lip glosses and stuff. And, um, I use my Neutrogena lip boosters and stuff like that because they don't be sticky and that's the biggest thing is longevity and it not being sticky like i just can't wear lip glosses that sticky like that i need something where i have to reapply my lip gloss every two seconds because i don't have time for that um i have time to put it on and go and that's how i live so try that one out um i'll wait till they have a sale or something because 18 dollars is kind of harsh for a lip gloss i'm just saying and it's a sticky and stuff and they have other colors, a bunch of series of colors, but it's stuff that I don't wear. So, but if you're interested, try it out. It's actually a cute color. Um, it's just something I don't feel like I wear every day. I'll pop it on when I'm home or I'm about to go do something. That's as good as it gets. Okay. So my next January favorite that I was loving for sure. Okay, so I want to share these with everybody. Okay, okay, so the story on these is that I bought these back in October, right? So I told y'all I'm a department store girl. So I bought these back in October. So in October, um, I went into Kohl's and I seen this setup where they have these body sprays and lotions and candles and all these things that kind of favorite Bath and Body Works. So I ended up speaking with the manager of the store and she stated to me that the person who was uh, the director over the Bath and Body Works stuff had moved to a different company and he was now over this brand called Scent Works that they have in Kohl's now. Now, this stuff, when I say it looked just like Bath and Body Works stuff, it's like a dupe almost. And the scents are so good. They last for long periods of time. They have candles. They have uh, the wall units and stuff for the, uh, the oils and stuff. They have body sprays, like I said. But anyways, let me show you some of the things that I purchased. So the first one that I purchased was this one well i purchased them all at the same time but this one and it's called scent works this one is called aloha coconut and lime body mist and it smells good excuse me this was so smells so yummy listen smell like you just got off a beach honey aloha smells so good another one of them was this one as you can see i didn't use a lot of it this one is called the rose water rain by his name is harry slatekin that guy used to work for bath and body works and now he's a director over this brand scent works it's basically like a dupe of bath and body works and he's created a whole line of things and it smells so good this one is my favorite I actually purchased these small ones because I wanted to make sure it was going to be something that I like. And I also, because I did purchase these in the month of October, I ended up getting this, a body lotion or body cream in the scent Cashmere Pumpkin. And this smells so yummy. Now, 
I won't lie. I haven't used it. And the reason why is because I, I, I just can't fathom smelling like a pumpkin, okay? But I think the packaging is cute. At some point, I will maybe just use it as a hand lotion. I'll probably throw it in my work bag and just take it. But this is what the packaging looks like. And it is just to die for. And it has enriched with shea mush, moisture butter and infused with essential oils. I did try it out on my hands. And it is very much uh, a great body lotion and body cream. I will recommend these to anybody. I'm probably going to go back and get some or order some online as far as the body sprays and stuff. I'm pretty boring when it comes to the lotions. I'm like a Nivea type person and stuff like that. That's the type of body lotions and stuff I use or, you know, something that can help me with dry skin. Like I just, I can't do these, these last because of the scent, but try these out. The brand is called Scentworks. And Kohl's. Kohl's, y'all can come sponsor me. You know what I'm saying? I, I spent all my money. Me and my husband spent all our money up in there. How about y'all come holler at me? How about that? Okay. My next one is like my holy grail. Holy grail is my... What? Did it drop? No, it didn't drop. My holy grail is the Pixie Glow Tonic. The Glow Tonic Exfoliant Toner for your face. Okay, so I have definitely been keeping up with my skin, as you can see. I actually use this Glow Tonic. And I also have the Vitamin C one. I ended up purchasing this because I had another one that was this small. But I ended up going into Kohl's, of course. And I had ended up purchasing one that came with three in a pack. So one was like a rose water something and the other one's like a vitamin C something. And then they put this one. Um, once I run through all of them, I will purchase the bigger version of the glow tonic. Now, when you put this on your face and stuff after you wash your face and exfoliate it and you use the pad to clean your face and your neck, what I notice, it gives a tingling sensation because it's fully in that dead skin right off of your face. So, for me, it's working and it, it's, it evens out the tone. I mean, right now, I feel like I'm kind of looking a little tan, but I really look pale as a ghost. Maybe it's these lights that got me looking like this, but I really look pale as a ghost, like for real, because I don't be outside and stuff. But this is a good one. This was inexpensive. The uh, three-pack that I did get... It was about, it was marked down to like 12 bucks for the three. And that's a steal because Pixie products are pretty reasonable. I'm not going to say they're extremely expensive, but they can get expensive when you buy multiple things. So make sure you try this out. This is really good for if you're trying to even out your skin tone and stuff and exfoliate and stuff. All right. Try that. My next item that I was loving for the month of January. Wow. Let me introduce y'all to this. Because I don't never really talk about jewelry on here. So, I, a long time ago, my mom, one time I went with my brother to the mall out to Macy's or what have you. This was years and years ago. Um, and my mom, she called me. She said, I need you to come get my debit card. Because I need you to go and give me this necklace. It was like $500, but then it was marked down. So I was like, okay, mark down to what? And she was like, it was like 50 bucks and it was like 500 bucks. So I'm like, what is it? So she was like, I really need you to go purchase me this necklace. It's by this brand called Victoria Townsend. So I was like, oh, okay. So I went to go get it. So I really liked her necklace. So while I was in there, I ended up purchasing um, my necklace with her card, of course. Thank you, mother. And I bought a necklace just like hers. So this is what it looks like. This is the rose cut diamond, uh, one carat. Uh, it's a uh, gold plated with a uh, silver, I think, overlay or what have you. But it's by a brand called a lady named Victoria Townsend. Now, I've had this chain for years, and it's looked the same. It has the stone in the the cuts of it, and my necklace is still the same. What I recently did was I went on Macy's website and I purchased a few different pieces also because I wear that one, but I don't wear that one as much. I purchased a dainty piece, which was this necklace right here. 
and I love this. This is like one of my everyday necklaces. It is, I believe it is sterling silver with the stones. And I actually wear this, uh, you might catch me in this more than anything else. I also do have a bracelet that's similar to this necklace. And it's a toggle bracelet, kind of similar to like my ones like this. I like the toggle because it's easier to pull up and tighten it and to loosen it up. But um, I actually have one. It's in sterling silver and it's like a tennis bracelet um, that I have. But I haven't. I haven't worn that. I didn't wear that today. But I wanted to share that. That necklace runs about, if you can find it, it's really worth about maybe 50, 60 bucks. But you can get it on sale for at least $24. And I swear to you, you can wear that thing and it will not, like, it's a dainty piece. You can't go wrong with jewelry that is like that because you can put that on and go about your business. Like, it's a beautiful piece. And I love her jewelry. Like, I'm going to purchase a couple more pieces from her line. Um, I'm hoping that she launches another, um, launches more. But I haven't seen anything. I did see a few things on Macy's. But I'll go back and keep checking to see if she had, um, you know, made anything else. But try out those pieces. Let's see what is next. So, my next thing. Okay. So, normally I share a handbag with y'all. I'm going to share my handbag. I actually got two. Got two of them. And this one, I'm going to show you. So, this is the handbag that I'm carrying right now. But what I won't do is I won't um, I won't show you the inside of it because of all of my things that's in it right now. But I will show you the actual wallet that I have with it. Okay. So, this... This is an Armani, uh, Giorgio Armani handbag. I actually put this bow on this ribbon on it. And this looks like this. You can see the little eagles, the eagles right here. And then I'm going to show you the wallet that I purchased with it. It looks like this. It's the matching wallet. I won't open it, like I said, because I have my personal items in it right now. Okay, story on this bag. I bought. The, I got this bag a couple years ago, maybe two or three. It was a gift for my husband for my birthday. Um, and we walked in Georgia Armani, and I ended up purchasing this and getting this, picking this, and getting perfume and some other stuff. And he was getting watches and all kind of stuff like that. But... And it was anniversary gifts and my birthday because my birthday's coming up soon. Pisces season. Pisces season. Okay, but back to my story. So, story on this bag is it is a Giorgio Armani. Okay, so people don't understand the difference between when you see a Gigi, not Gucci, but a Gigi because Giorgio Armani also does Gigi. He does his in a large print and it's uh it's in a circle and it's they're really big, okay? Then you have a you have AJ, which is our Giorgio Armani jeans, and then you have uh Armani Exchange. Okay, so all of those brands that are Armani or Giorgio Armani are all under the Armani or umbrella. So it goes from luxury and then it goes to contemporary and then it goes down to affordable. Well, this handbag is on the contemporary side because it still was a pretty penny for it plus the wallet. Um, but Giorgio Armani has the different levels, but he has them with the names are different, but they're still under the Armani Armani umbrella as you can see on this handbag you can still see he put the eagle anyways and this is the Armani uh the Armani jeans which is the AJ and then he has the eagle or what have you and the same thing on the wallet um this was um I want to say as expensive as some handbags that I do have it was reasonably priced 
um if i can find it um i will definitely link it below but that also is a gift but that is the bag i've been carrying for the last few weeks probably at the end of january up until now and i'm about to switch handbags soon but not just yet until i finish recording my videos okay so my next handbag that i was carrying in the month of uh january was this is an expensive one and i'll tell you this if you can find it and get it pre-loved make sure you do because it's not worth spending as much money as you think it is and plus it is very pricey and sometimes people sit and say i would never get that i i don't see why people buy stuff like that they invest, they invest, they invest. But what happens is when you, I'm sorry, I'm scrolling down to look, um, look for it. Um, but I've purchased a few different things and I call them my stash bags because um, they're a little more higher in price. And I just, I wear them, but then I put them away because I feel like, you know, I could resell them in the future. But this handbag is, and this is a heavy chain. That is the Chanel boy bag right here with the, um, the um, aged hardware gold. The one thing about these I can say is that, listen, these don't have no space in them, okay? Listen, people can say what they want to say. There's no space in these bags. I think I carried this thing for like maybe a week. And then I was like, I can't. It don't fit nothing. I tried putting small wallets in it. I tried to do everything with this thing. And then I'm just like, okay, I'm done. Beautiful bag. Nice, nice bag. And we know everybody knows it's the label, it's the label. But listen, it don't make sense because it's it don't it can't carry nothing. You gotta literally be like going on a date to carry a bag like that. That's why you see me carrying this. Because guess what? I could put a lot in that. A lot. I could put my face mask, my sanitizer wise my sanitizer spray bottle i can put my wallets my coin purse my brush you know perfume you can put a lot in purses like that but those chanel boy bags like they're cute and you know you can resell them but they are not practical when it comes to a working person like a person that has to carry a lot of things because you're doing a lot and you're trying to talk to people trying to talk to clients and all kind of stuff and like i can't so i carried that for like a week and then i was like all right back up on the shelf you go because i can't do nothing with that thing okay let me see what i got because i think i'm almost at the end y'all my next item was for my january favorites oh yes oh let me show y'all these okay so we remember at one point in time when you look on YouTube, everybody was ranting about the Mrs. Myers stuff. Well, I had purchased the Mrs. Myers uh, room sprays. Um, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. You know, most black people use pine salt and bleach to clean their homes or fabuloso and stuff. I use this as a room spray. I cannot use their cleaning products or their dish soap because I feel like it don't set up enough. Um, I also have another one, the honeysuckle one in the yellow. This smells good. It's lasted me a long time. What I do is normally I will change my sheets on my bed. I will spray this over the uh, mattress cover. And also I um, spray it around my bedroom um, after I vacuum. And the scent lasts for a long time. Really, it does. And I love the basil smell. I love this one. But I also did purchase the hand soap, which I did put in my husband's bathroom. Um, and I have another one, but he said that he didn't like it that much because it didn't set up enough for him. He likes the Bath and Body Works soap, so that's what I put in his bathroom instead. Um, I probably will try this one out right now. I have the Bath and Body Works, um, one of their uh, foaming soaps. So 
when I test this one out, it'll decide whether if I buy more hand soaps from them or, but definitely the room sprays are good and they're inexpensive, less than $10. Um, and even if you go shop in Target and get them, I ordered these off of Amazon. Normally I would get them out of Target, but I hadn't been going to Target as much. So try these out. These smell delicious. Okay, let me see what I got y'all because I think that might have been the end. Oh, one more thing. So I did purchase a bunch of candles. Um, I do have them from Bath and Body Works. Um, I did share them on my social media, but this candle right here is called the Black Tie. It's by the brand Red Leaf Homes, $12.99 out of home goods. This sits on my nightstand. I have been burning as you can see. Now, if you like something that smells a bit manly, not too manly, but manly and a little woodsy, this is the candle for you. And it smells so good. It smells, listen, it smells like a good man, honey. It smells like my man. So I want to smell it all day. So this is what I burn. I do have some other ones I probably will share in my um, February monthly favorites. Um, plus, I like the look of this. The style is very classy and stuff like that. I love the print on it. It doesn't have all of that stuff. You know how Bath & Body Works is. We love their candles, but I wish they would just do the ba a basic line that looks like this clean and stuff like that. I probably would purchase more of those. But this one was inexpensive. It was like $12.99. If you like stuff like this, I'm sure people go in Home Goods and they see stuff like this. Make sure you check it out. We are at the end of my video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. Again, it helps my channel out. Click that notification bell so that you know when Brainy Boss uploads. Make sure you're following me on Insta at Brainy Boss 3711. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye, guys.